Hi everyone, so we are back from Kauai. It was great time, the weather was beautiful, almost too beautiful, it was really, really warm. Um, but I'm feeling recharged and it was a nice little break. And yeah, so it's Monday. Yesterday was just basically catching up on like laundry and unpacking and doing all of that and kind of getting ready for the week. And then Friday we leave to LA. So um, it's Adam's birthday on Friday. So shout out to all the Scorpios out there. So yeah, we're just gonna be celebrating his birthday there. So basically back for four days and then repack and go again. So this time we're only there for three days. Um, it's also Halloween on Thursday. So yeah, um, I'm about to head out to work. So I was actually thinking about this on the plane. I don't remember what light bulb moment I had on the airplane, but I wanna know what your favorite quotes or something that you have heard, but like totally has bigger meaning to you. There are oftentimes like a quote that I hear that I'm like, oh, that's cool, but it doesn't resonate with me as much. And then later down the road, it really does. So if there's any saying like that for you guys, let me know. Anyway, I have to get going. I actually have to go pick up some packages at FedEx that were three times delivered to our place. We missed all attempts, so I have to go pick them up, so yay me. <laughs> Got back from work uh, about an hour ago, so Adam's on his way home and just starting on dinner. It is Tuesday and I'm just making dinner, I'm making kind of a healthier salad today. I am living in this. You guys know the whole story and saga about this, but it's so comfy. I realize it's not like a necessarily traveling kind of outfit just because the shorts are, I feel like, a little short. But I did wear the sweater while traveling. Hey everyone, it's Halloween today and got back from work and we actually fly out tomorrow morning to LA to celebrate Adam's birthday weekend. But uh, our friends are hosting a Halloween party tonight. So just getting some stuff kind of ready. At first I thought about like not going to the party just because it was like the night before us flying out, but figured it's Halloween, it's fun, we should do it. So went out and grabbed two pumpkins. There's gonna be a pumpkin carving contest. So we're in the middle of packing, baking, carving, <laughs> and just like. So for the party, um, because it is kind of, you know, like so close to us leaving, didn't want to make something too elaborate. So I'm making these like pear um, tarts. So I've made the pear before, but I wanted to make something or add a little bit of festive orange. So I'm doing candied orange as well. So it's basically puff pastry um, pears, uh, a little bit of shallots, and then I'm going to crumble um, some gorgonzola, some pecans, and then a drizzle of honey and just a tad bit of rosemary just to make a little bit more fall. So um, I'm basically all packed. I'm just finishing one load of laundry just because I don't really like to leave a ton of stuff to do when I get back. So yeah. Um, on top of the prep for the party, um, I thought we were gonna obviously like dress up. I figured it would be like rude to show up to a Halloween party um, without dressing up. But Adam talked to the host and he says he's not dressing up either. It's more of a like, let's carve pumpkins and get into like the fall season. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to finish these up, put them in the oven and I'll show you the finished result. Um, I'm also being really basic and bringing some chips and a um, caramelized onion dip just because I thought it would kind of go with the theme. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Just change into something. Um, I was actually going to wear like a sweater dress, but I figured this is kind of fall colors <laughs> ish and just paired it with some boots so anyway let me show you our tartlets they are out of the oven so we have a candied orange here on this side and the pear and gorgonzola on this side 
What do you think, Olive? Hi. Hi, happy dog. Is it time for your meatballs? Okay. Yeah, I know there's stuff in there for Olive, but it's not for right now. It's for tomorrow. Hey, pretty girl. You so happy. You so happy. It's Olive's costume. Olive hates it. Yeah, last year Olive was a wolf. Okay, now we find the tail. Hi, Bubbles. Okay. Not a thing responsible for taking precautionary measures. If we land in water, going from San Francisco to LA, we gotta know how to get out of the plane in water. Okay. I would just swim. <laughs> There's no water between San Francisco and LA. Would you say there is water? No, I'm wouldn't. Go. I would say myself. I know. <laughs> going for your birthday dinner. <laughs> I think after dinner is when you finally turn your age. Is that how it works? Have you made a birthday in, wish? In 10 years is when I finally turn my age. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Take a sip. I think that oil goes in there. What's the oil? I put it in. Take your vial of medicine. Oh, it's just the scalp. Like our old drawings? No, my Uber's here. Uh, your Uber's here. <laughs>
are back from LA. Then on Friday night, Adam's actual birthday night, um, we had a really nice time, went out to dinner. Anyway, so come back to the room and then the next morning as I'm getting ready, I realize I couldn't find my wallet. So of course Adam and, and I too thought like, oh, I just, I've misplaced it here in the room. I'll find it eventually. Um, so yeah, like looked and looked, couldn't find it. So like we spent all of Saturday like trying to trace it down, um, went back to the restaurant we were at, they didn't have it. Uh, tried contacting the Uber, I'm still trying to do that. I've called them every day now. Um, and they just say that they can't get a hold of the driver. Um, finally, they got a hold of the driver. The driver said he couldn't find it, didn't find it. So anyway, so I was so stressed out because that is one of my biggest fears. Every time that I fly alone, I'm always like, oh my gosh, if I lose a phone or my ID, like I can't fly home. <laughs> so um, that was like my biggest worry. Um, and I feel like when you are on a trip and something like that happens, it just, you're already out of, you know, like your element in like your things and stuff. So to not have like the essential things so that you can kind of like get around, I don't know, it's just like, it's so scary. So um, anyway, so I ended up, you know, like calling the airport and they said, well, like you'll still be able to fly most likely, but you will have to have like an interview with like TSA and basically you'll just have to prove that you are who you are. So anyway, after this interview, I was thankfully able to fly. So we got home last night and now I have to go to DMV and cancel credit cards and do all that. The other scary thing was the credit card, the two credit cards that I lost are from like our two main accounts. And Adam had only traveled like with one other credit card that was like from the matching account that I lost mine from. So we couldn't cancel our credit cards because we thought like, what if we can't fly? What if we have to like rent a car? Um, so we need to have a running credit card. So. Anyway, um, I think I only had like 40 or $50 cash because like who travels with cash anymore, you know? So um, yeah, a lot of lessons learned. I'm literally like looking at, you know, the little CEO badge holder with the little like carabiner like attached to it with like, it's retractable. I'm literally looking for something like that <laughs> for like my credit cards and stuff and ID, so. Anyway, so that's why I didn't really vlog the remainder of the trip. But yeah, happy to be home. I have a busy week this week. Um, and today's just going to be playing catch up. And yeah, I really, really wanted to fit in a workout today. I just knew it would make me feel better, but there was just no time. So one thing that I have been doing is um, like a 10 to 15 minute yoga session every night before bed, uh, like a wind down kind of uh, yoga session and that has helped tremendously. I mean, I've always been a good sleeper, but um, I feel like I'm getting better quality of sleep, which is a big important thing. Um, it's not just the hours that you're sleeping, but obviously the quality of hours you're having. So um, I've at least been doing that. All right, uh, I'm about to head out. Bye guys. Then the menu tonight is a turkey meatball. This looks awful in the lighting, but I promise it's so good. So it is turkey meatballs and kale in a lemongrass broth. So yummy, I wish you guys could smell it right now. Then I'm gonna place it in these bowls and garnish with some lime wedges and some cilantro. What do you think? I think your favorite time of the day is when we're cooking. I don't know if it's because it smells good or if it's because the whole family's home. What is it? What's that happy tale saying? Hi, Bubbles. Question is, should we have wine with dinner tonight? Normally with like soups or like broth-based things, we don't have wine, but it's definitely a later night, so maybe. Also, I tried a new place for lunch today and I got this gluten-free bread sandwich. 
and normally gluten-free bread is tiny and it ended up being huge so I took like a few bites and ate the salad instead so Adam's having my leftovers along with soup because I know that he'll think that soup for dinner is not enough. Do you agree? You look so majestic.